Hello, everybody. My name is Wid Spaulding. That's right. It's Wid. It rhymes with squid. I'm here to discuss BMC's Atrium Discovery and Dependency Mapping, called Atrium Discovery. And specifically, I'll address the area and the things we do for storage discovery. Atrium Discovery finds your hosts, whether they're virtual or physical, and it discovers the storage that the host is consuming, whether it be just a local disk drive or whether it be a storage like a SAN or an NAS. The kind of items we discover for storage systems in the SAN world include the pools and the volumes that are consumed by the hosts, and in the NAS world, the disk drives and the file systems. Once discovered, if storage is part of an application, it's automatically included in the application map. Atrium discovery is agentless discovery. And when we're discovering storage items, we use two different protocols, SNMP and WebM. WebM allows us to speak to the storage management software, and it's a standard that's been implemented by quite a few vendors. So as you can see at the bottom, we either talk right to the storage management software or we talk to the storage devices in order to collect the data. And we support many storage management vendors, as you can see on the right. Two items I'd like to mention is that BMC Discovery comes with many dashboards and reports. During the demonstration, I'll try and show some of those to you. Second, it comes ready to sync to the Atrium CMDB right out of the box so the data can be moved quickly and efficiently. As you can see, we're logged in to the Home tab, specifically showing the baseline dashboard. It gives quite a bit of information on the upper left, all the information on our infrastructure summary, including storage systems. Down at the bottom, software products by publisher. So there's quite a bit of information. And in fact, we have many more dashboards. Specifically, the one we're going to look at today is the storage overview dashboard. But as we slide down, you'll see we have information on mainframes, operating system product life cycles, many other things. Let's go take a look at the storage overview dashboard. As you can see, we're now on the storage overview dashboard. Along the top, we have a better look at the storage devices we have, the storage systems, the pools, the volumes, the connections. And then along the left hand side, we have many different reports that we'll talk about further on. Let's start by looking at the storage devices. Here we have a list of the storage devices, IBM, HP, quite a few different versions. So let's take a look specifically at the TW cluster SAN. Here we can see the vendor IBM, the model number, serial number, operating systems, as I was saying before, the storage management software, and then the number of pools and volumes, disk drives that are supplied. So now let's go look at the storage management software. As you can see, we're now on the storage overview dashboard. Along the top, we have a better look at the storage devices we have, the storage systems, the pools, the volumes, the connections. And then along the left hand side, we have many different reports that we'll talk about further on. Now we're at the storage system level. This is where we'd use WebM commands to interrogate and find out more information about the storage in terms of the number of pools, volumes, disk drives, storage processors. Now stay with me here. We're going to walk from the storage system into the particular volumes which are consumed by hosts and then point out which host is consuming a particular volume. Now there are eight volumes here and you can see the names of the volumes. Let's just look at one, number five, Tiny iSCSI. Now here we are at the details for storage volume. You can see the capacity, other detailed information, but we also get 
in terms of the storage pool that we're coming from and the file system we're being allocated to and even the system or the host on which we're being allocated. So let's go over and take a look at the particular host. Here we have the details all the way down to the host itself. Now I'm not going to go any further, but what we saw was from the storage system to the particular volume and then the volume that was allocated as a file system on the particular host that's consuming it. Now let's jump back to the home tab and look at the reports to see how we can do all this much more quickly. Okay, we're back at the dashboards page and we do have a good number of reports that will help you make decisions and be informed for both SAN and NAS really. All the SAN storage systems, all your SAN storage volumes, the SAN management software, uh, connections from storage that aren't matched with a host. Uh, a very good one is, and people often want to know this is, okay, what storage volumes are used by hosts? We walk through that, but there's clearly a faster way to get there if we just take a look at these reports. In this list, which you can always sort and look at in terms of graphics or sort them, filter them if it's a large list, we have the top four are really all ESX servers that have been allocated these four volumes consuming away. Down here we have, as we saw in the beginning, our volume tiny SCSI and right away we can see the host that's consuming it. So we didn't actually have to walk that whole chain. I walked it just so you could see it. Now we're going to move down and take a look at this host at the bottom and what it's consuming as well. Let's go there. Now here we are. We're on a Dell, it's a physical box. It is, in fact, hosting 13 VMs. We can look down and look at the storage information that we have here. Because it's a physical box, it has a hyper, <clears throat> a fiber channel with the worldwide node name and specifically the data going out this worldwide port hooked up to the SAN cluster here. So when we look at the file systems that are allocated, we have four file systems that are allocated. It turns out the second one and the fourth one are actually allocated to disk drives that are right on the box itself down here. So those are physical disk drives. Whereas the first one and the third one are allocated to storage, SAN storage, and we can see those down here under storage volumes, the build hub, the tiny data. So we can go over here and look at build hub data as we work our way back to that volume. So here we are on the storage volume. I like to think of it as the bridge between the consumer and the provider. We have all the capacity information. We have the file system that it's allocated out to on that host, as well as the storage pool that it came from. Let's go back and look at that host one more time. And one more thing to notice is the different colors noting how much of the storage has been consumed. Less 10% gets a pink, less than 20% gets a yellow. You can also set up notifications for that as well. Let's go back and run some other reports. Back at the storage dashboard, we have other reports. One that people are often interested in seeing is they'd like to know the applications that are running on hosts that are connected to storage. So we can take a look at that. I have just a couple running here. We made one 
I find it a little bit amusing in that we went and connected quite a bit of our storage just to one application so that you could see how that looked. It's really uh, an Oracle application that I built earlier. And you can see we've hooked up all different kinds of storage. But visually, you can understand how the storage is, in fact, supporting an application. OK, let's go back. Now let's take a moment and look at our NAS storage reports. So for all network attached storage systems, we can take a quick look at that. And we can see we have three. And as I had said before, it's not about pools and volumes. It's now about disk drives and file systems. If we take a look at the middle one, I call it ribbon tap. You can see how many disk drives, how many file systems. And actually, it's set up in a high availability pair with uh, the other Rebentap 2 so that they can support each other. Let's go back and take a look at another report. where we can see the host connected to network attached storage. Thank you for taking your time today to go on this discovery journey. Please learn more at bmc.com discovery.